Sometimes I return to the motel where I died. I don't know why. But I keep finding myself dragged here again and again. Like a moth to a flame. Or maybe like a junkie to a stealer. The place is a little shabbier every time I get pulled back. I see more blackened light bulbs in the sign, more bugs clogging the pool, and more unswept cigarette butts. The Coke machine fizzes as much as the Coke itself, while the ice machine mainly produces mold and irritating clanks. It was a shitty place to stay, let alone die. Tonight, I drift through the wall and see a family in my old room. They look tired and sunburned and ready to be home. And I figured the only reason they're here is because their vacation budget didn't stretch far enough. I guess that's life for you. Something unexpected always changes your plans. Naturally, they can't hear or see me. So I can't give them the grand tour. I can't explain that the holes in the wall were caused by my fists from when I was trying to kill the things that I thought were slithering between the tacky wallpaper. I can't tell them how my teeth were responsible for the chunk of porcelain missing from the toilet, or warn them that scratchy spot on the carpet, where their kid was currently crawling around and looking for his toy, was once my blood. There's no point moaning or wailing about any of this, but I do whisper. It's an angry whisper. The same thing I say every time I return. Fuck you, Carlos. The night I died, all I wanted to do was get high. But Carlos... Carlos wanted a guinea pig. So he kindly offered me a free syringe of some high-grade experimental shit. I didn't care what it was. One tiny prick of the needle was all it took. Not even enough time to plunge the spike completely. Just one tiny needle bite and I was turned into a raging homicidal maniac. And since I was holed up in here by myself, the only homicide was a suicide. At least I didn't hurt anyone else. But still, fuck you, Carlos. Guess you could say I'm clean now, sort of. Turns out ghosts are just addicts of a different kind, always returning for a taste of our former lives like picking at scabs. Apparently, we just can't stop ourselves from revisiting our mistakes. A haunt is a hit for a ghost. I can't think of any other reason why I'd end up here. Unless, maybe. Maybe it's because this is where my final mistake rolled under the bed. Where no one ever cleans. Where the father is reaching to retrieve his kid's toy. Where he's now jerking his hand back from the sudden bite of a needle. One tiny bite. Oh, hell. I turn to go, but I've suddenly lost my ability to walk through walls. Something wants me to watch this.